Hey guys, one Skater Girl 33 here. I'm going to show you my cube collection. It's um pretty small, but you know I'm going to be making frequent updates. Um, I'm actually planning on getting quite a few more cubes, but I thought I might as well make a collection because that might not be for a while. So let's start. I have the mini one by one. Um, as you see, it can't even fit the stand. And um. I got it from the game Rubik's Race, so it's just one of the little pieces you open up the shaker and you take it out. Um, it's medium difficulty. Um, this is my Landland Speed Cube 2x2. It's a really great cube. Um, it also is purple instead of orange, which at first I was like, no! But then I actually kind of thought that it makes the colors more subtle, and I, I kind of like that. Okay, this is my um mini three by three. Um it's actually pretty hard to turn and also the stickers are a little uneven. If you can see that some of them are like overlapping and especially that one moving around. It's pretty hard to turn. Um, but it's okay. And the other thing is um the colors are different. They're the exactly the same except orange is dark pink and red is light pink and it's like impossible to tell the difference between those two colors. Um, on size comparison, it's a mini one by one. It's about the same size each cube. Okay. Next, um, is this cube. It's a very brand new cube. It's a Land Land White Speed Cube. And at first, I didn't like white. And I was like, oh, what a white cube! Because I didn't have any white cubes. But now I kind of like it. Um, at least it doesn't have black stickers. That's what I was happy about. Um, it's really smooth, um, and it's a really good speed cube. I beat my record on it. Um, the only and it cuts corners quite a lot, pretty easily. And but the only problem is it pops. Pieces will come out sometimes if you're turning it really fast. So here I have two Rubik's brand three by threes. Um, which one is it? Oh, uh, this one is pretty hard to turn. Like, it's really hard. It really could use some, like, Lubix or something. And this one still could use a little lube, but actually, it, like, was next to, like, my water bottle in my backpack, and it got really, like, frozen. And when it thawed, it actually, like, was a bit smoother. I don't even know why, but it worked. Um, so it goes, oh, and I have this one. She bought 50 cents of yard sale, and it's actually pretty smooth, and it's nice. It gets caught sometimes, sparkly, but it's, it's a cool cube. Okay, Here's my Landland 4x4. It's not a speed cube, but it does have a ball core, and it's really loose. Um, all, all layers turn great. And here's my shin shell 5x5. Five five. Um, it's pretty good. The only problem is sometimes, like, when I was solving it, these caps here, or these pieces here, pop out, and then it, like, won't turn, and then you're afraid if you'll turn it, it'll pop out more. But, um, size comparison to the 4x4, four four, it's actually smaller. I wish it were, like, the same size. But, it's actually a pretty good feed cube. And, and it's, um, very easy to turn. Here's my Shen Shao 6x6. I was very disappointed. I wanted Shen Shao because I like the Shen Shao 5x5, and I think Shen Shao is a really good brand once you get to the higher number cubes. Um, it's not so bad. The outer layers turn pretty good, but it almost feels like it's easy, but really hard, and like rickety, but, but tight. Um, I don't know why. I was very disappointed when I bought this cube. Here's my QJ. Tiled Pyraminx, um, it's perfect, tip turning. The only thing I don't like is that these pieces, um, get loose a lot, and a lot of times when I'm solving, they'll fall out, which is, like, and they'll get caught like that, which is really annoying. Um, here's this picture cube my friend bought for me. It's really old, like, the stickers are coming off. It's not bad. I mean, it's a course to be, like, cheap. Um, but it doesn't really pop much. Um, here's a few by one at a fair. 
come to school, it's really hard to turn, and it pops, and the pieces, um, they're, like, hard to get back in when they come out, and you're, like, your fridge is going to, like, break in plastic, but the design's kind of cool. It's, like, hard to turn. Um, let's see. Oh, I also have the game Rubik's Race. It's a fun slide game where you try to, like, match the pattern and, like, you shake it. I'm missing a cube because it's a one by one, but you shake it. Um, and then you, like, here, I'll get it out. And then you, like, turn it, the cube to match the pattern, but only on the inside. Three, and then you slam it down, and you can get reveal your design, your pattern. You win. Um, there's also a Rubik's Trace app you can get for, and I have that app, and it's fun, too. So, um, that's my cute collection. See ya.